Okay. Here we go. This is a uh, game called Virago. It's a Newgrounds Flash game. Came out in like, I don't know, what is this? 2009. So, it's pretty old. I'm getting to it just now. Um, for like the third time. Whatever. I'm boring you. Let's get into the fun stuff. Alright. Let's play it. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it. They shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Revelations 9 6. Are you okay? Just some scripture, you know, it was a good deer for you. in the middle of a damn road, okay? Oh, great! Flip the car over and almost get us killed for a damn deer! Hey, man, so lie, deer deserves we? to live I can too. Tell by the pissy look you're giving me. So, where are we now? This obviously isn't the interstate. Obviously hey, I, I couldn't stay on the interstate, alright? Yeah, it was too all much, backed too up. much traffic. You, you guys see well, what the guy's getting at. You, we're officially stuck in the middle of nowhere. Nice work, Jonathan. Hey, I. Yeah. Wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? I think the engine just made a noise. Well, uh, yeah, your car's flipped over. A fat lot of good that'll do you. Alright, let's get it started. Let's talk to the buddy. Can't see a damn thing. Yeah, neither can I. It's fog. It's bullshit. All right, map. It's in the boot. It's boot. Uh, what's the boot? Trunk. Okay. The car isn't safe. We have to find a phone. Get some help. Uh, that's a good idea, actually. Um, I'm all for that plan. Uh, what? Okay. Pick it up. Ominous noises. Alright. Let's pick it up. A hip flask. Good, I can drink. I'm gonna need it. I mean, seriously, man. I do a lot of shit today. Photo. I run Anya. I assume I'm one of the ladies in that picture. Probably the bigger one. What? Oh, okay. This. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, credit card? Oh, never mind. Okay. Let's see. Go around. Did I get... I get the card keys. Alright. Let's open it. Oh, alright. God damn it. Where are we? It's just cactuses, but talking about boots and shit, so it's not America. Oh, grab the fish! Oh! Is it? Grab the... No? Okay. So something's shiny over there and we can't get it because of all these traps. Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's check over here. Poke our head on over yonder. Is it? Ooh. Signs all messed up. There's a sign! Strathburg gas station. A kilometer ahead. Strathburg? Yeah, Strathburg. It's a word, you know. What do you say it? Rope! More creepy noises. Uh, just go to Strathburg. No? Need the map. Strathburg? Strathburg? Okay. That's enough of that. This, maybe I can uh, use the rope, you know, get the fashion some sort of noose, something. I don't know. Just grab the shiny thing and be on our merry way. All right. Grab it. What do you mean? What good will it achieve? You, like, tie a knot around the end or something with, like, a hole on it. You, like, capture shiny things and... Hip flask. Do you like to drink, sir? So what? Can I have a drink every now and then? Uh, I don't blame you, dude. It's pretty stressful. You got your cars flipped over. Everything. Yeah. The door won't budge. Won't it? Yeah, I know that. Alright, uh, go back over here. Put this away. We need to find some. My way. husband, Jonathan some way to like you know pick it up pick it pick it up all right 
Jonathan can help. Alright. He's been such a help so far, crashing the car and stranding us out in the middle of nowhere near Strasburg. I've never heard of Strasburg. You know, what do you know about rope? I need some help. What is it? You're good with knots, right? I need to tie this rope and make a hand knot. What? This really isn't a good time for that sort of thing, you know. Shut up. I have an idea that might just work. Alright. I'm not even going to ask. There's the noose! See, you're not good with knots. You need to help. It's, it's okay. I needed tutoring when I was in school, and I was afraid that people might think I was stupid. Then I got some help, and it was all good, and I felt good about myself. Wait, get the shiny thing. Come on. Uh, no. Uh, I don't want wood. I wanted the shiny thing. What, what am I going to do with this wood? Honestly, what good wood? It's stupid. I mean, like... Yeah. Hit the car with the wood. No. Oh, wait. Wait. Bring it. Uh. Awesome. Got it. My ticket out of here. Mine as well. Let's go back and talk to Jonathan. See what he's got to say about me and my wood powers. No, nothing. Not impressed with my display of physical prowess. All right. Let's go back over this way. Over here. Pull this away from my mouth. I think we're over here. Why didn't you just stick with the interstate? Oh, I don't know, Ira. I guess I just wanted to make this trip as long and miserable as possible, you know? See just how much going? you bitch about it. On and on and on. Oh, damn, dude. Look, I just... I just thought it'd be faster, okay? I think Anya would have you loved beautiful to Beautiful eyes. We I mean, never took her anywhere. Golden. The job was always too important. That's not fair. Why, why do you have to be like that when I say her name? Then stop saying her name. How long are you going to keep doing that? I mean, how are we going to move past this when you won't even say your daughter's name? Okay, you know what, Jonathan? Oh, I bet you that's who's you in the picture with me. And he's smiling. Dick. Anya. Facing a near-death experience, and all I can think of is you. The atmosphere grows cold. We arrive at our destination, only to find it's a gas station. Maybe you could call a serviceman, something. I don't know. Uh, grab a bucket. <laughs> now, what are you talking about? You could always use a bucket. I mean, you put it on your head. This disguise. You could rob a gas station, grab some money, go south to Mexico. Oh, wait, you don't have a car. Never mind. I don't even know if you know where Mexico is, or maybe we're already in Mexico. Using kilometers instead of actual measurements, so I mean, propane, propane accessories. It could be Hank Hill. This is a nice car, except it's got shitty headlights. I mean, look at that, all smashed out and shit. Let's go back over here. Go up towards the window. God limit. Oh, more advertisements. Some fancy artwork. Extra revenue. Ah, oh, advertisements. Door is locked. Alright. Uh, what? Okay. It's, hello? Okay. It's starting to get a little weirded out. Go back. Oh, got Is there some. anyone around here? Looks empty. Air raid sirens. It's the Russians. Something. Most likely Russians. What are you two idiots doing outside? Get in here! What's going on? Questions later. Move! Uh, okay. He doesn't want us to be outside when the Russians bomb Canada. It's understandable. How are you feeling? How are you I'm feeling? I'm okay. Just a little sore around the neck. Give me your pen. Find out if there's a first aid kit around. G give me your pen. This metal pen. What, what am I going to do with the metal pen? I give it to the girl and she could do some drawings for me. I could hang them up on my fridge. You never know. You could use some oil. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Ma'am? Who are you? Who are you and why are you carrying around a gun like that? I'm the town's deputy. 
The gun's for our own safety. Safety? From what? From whatever's outside. From the Russians. What's out you know what? Never mind. I just need to get to a phone. We need to get back on the Ma interstate. Ma'am, there's no Picking signal out here. Profusely, and for your dude, own safety, that's not good. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Great. Just what I need. I'll be fine. I've fought Russians before. I was at a fight club in college. What's going on outside? It's the devil's work, ma'am. Supernatural forces. Not supernatural. It all started just with little Amy Russians. saying she heard noises out in the smog. Next thing you know, her parents go missing. They haven't come back to pick her up after going to the pharmacy. And that's why she's here. Supernatural Whoa. forces, my ass. Amy's parents have probably just lost out there in the smog, that's all. Who are you? There's nothing out there. Oh, really? Well, if you're so confident, Rick, care to take a walk? Maybe not for right now. I need the right motivation, you know? Who, who is that? Pick this up? What? <laughs> Walkie talkie. Awesome. Anything? What? Okay. Now I can watch videotapes. Ma'am, talk about walkie -talkie. You need to stay inside till I receive further instructions. You're not my supervisor. Ma'am. All right. Who's this guy? What do you think about Rick? What? Who? The Dutch bastard? Not much. Jesus, dude. Troublemaker, delinquent, drug addict. Pretty sure what, he's what got the hell's your a problem? drug stash hidden somewhere so he can get high do like back proof? in good old Amsterdam. Drugs? Shouldn't you investigate? Yeah, seriously, can't. dude. Need a warrant to search his premises. So how do you know he even has drugs? Police intuition. I know his type. Dirty Dutch bastard. So you don't know, and you're just making wild accusations and calling him Dirty Dutch Bastard being a racist. Eh, that's not cool. My husband needs medical attention. Is there a first aid kit around here? Talk to Rick. He's the one minding the store. He probably knows where to get one. Okay, I'll talk to Rick. It's probably nicer than you are, douche. Uh, grab his walkie-talkie. All right, Let's see what we got. It's a broken walkie-talkie. Uh, fix it with the metal pen. What? Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, b b b bobby pin. You, do you want a bobby pin? No. Uh, pour some alcohol in it. No. Okay. Talk to him. Hey, can I talk with you for a second? All right. Uh, who are you? Let me guess. You're not supposed to be here today, right? You got it. On the bright side, I've never had so many customers before either. Yeah, so get get some good business from the Russians. All right. Strathburg doesn't seem like a busy town. What do you do around here? Well, when my brother's around, we go down to the basement and play some ping pong. <laughs> awesome. Like Forrest Gump. How good is the security in your store? Got video surveillance cameras hooked up to a monitor downstairs. Oh, I can watch my video. You know where Do you I can have get some first, first aid? aid? My husband needs some patching up. Yeah, he's pretty bad, can help dude. You there. There's a pharmacy about a hundred meters down the road, though. Well, can I, like... Seth won't let me out. My husband's in serious pain. You have to help me. I can't. I'm already in enough trouble as it is. Isn't there anyone around here that will help me? Come on, man. The guy won't let me out and, and grab a candy bar. Just just take it. The Russians are invading. It's not like they'll notice. Uh, grab a smoke. Okay. Uh, smoked once and... What? Okay. I can... Oh. 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 Bruh. Hello. Well, dag, dude, that's just mean. Maybe. Oh. Burn the place down. Anarchy. Maybe the Russians will think that they're fighting. Hey, you're fighting with them. Be like, no, dude, it's cool. I burned down this convenience store. Uh, I'm vandal. It's good. Let's grab some milk. 
This corner visible. Uh, ma'am, that room is for staff only. What? Okay. I saw you with this thing, stupid. Talk to the kid. Well, I don't care. Just what? Okay. Yeah. Got some deodorant. All right. Oh, maybe I combine the no. Flamethrower? What? Oh. Oh. Awesome. I could really burn the place down. This set the kid on fire. No. What about uh Oh Well shit. Okay. Uh, I guess that doesn't work. Burn this. Burn it down. Actually, that looks like Cloverfield, not Godzilla. Are you stupid? Alright. Burn your husband. Oh, never mind. I couldn't find anything here. They say there's a pharmacy down the road. Then we don't have much of a choice, do we? There has to be another way. Well, maybe we can, uh, you know... Make some medical supplies out of oil and car batteries. You're like MacGyver. Burn them. No. Burn this dickhole. Who cares about him? Yeah, he's a douche. Why? All right. Uh, flies. You. What? Oh. Burn it. Burn the flies. Burn Rick. No. Is it, no, why, why was I thinking of burning Rick? Rick's cool. Oh, no. Burn the flies. <laughs> you monster. No. Oh, for the dick of my, what was that? <laughs> Did you just do that? <laughs> just it's got to be hard for me to cat. monitor this area from now. Oh, well. Still the blame from the boss. <laughs> He's Dutch. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, I burned a cat. I feel accomplished. Go down over here. What? What? Okay. Over here. Who are you? I don't care. It's like static electricity or something. I don't know. Sorry, you caught me in the middle of something. Yeah, obviously, bro. How about, uh, what do you think, what Rick? Do you think about Rick? He gets all the chicks and leaves the nerds like me in the desk. Feeling on that so one, dude. That cool guy like him working at a gas station like this? Probably it's dropped out business. of high school. Okay. What's, uh, what you doing? What are you working on there? My father had some important news to send. Unfortunately, I think someone jammed the fax machine with a ping pong ball <laughs> I'd say Rick had something to do with this probably him and his brother acting out Forrest Gump okay uh, what are you doing any ideas what's happening outside I don't know my father was trying to fax me something on the situation right with the Russians I guess I mean he probably has something to do with this he's a scientist and what what what, what just happened <sighs> look I'm busy and you're distracting me sorry Okay, uh, one last question. What do you think about Seth? Seth thinks this is all something supernatural. Don't listen to Seth. Ever. For both our sakes. Well, okay. Uh, t t yeah, I'll take your advice on that. Pick up the ping pong ball. Maybe Rick and I can play a game of pick up ping pong. One thing can lead to another, and at the end of the night will probably end up sleeping with me. Alright. And uh, here, pick these up. Computer not connected to the internet. No porn. Okay. Open. Oh, oh. Pick it up. I have a battery. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I lost my flamethrower. What? Oh. Okay. Well, maybe I can fill batteries, I mean, maybe I can fill a sock with batteries and just use that as a weapon against the Russians. I'm feeling pretty good about that one. Uh, computers. 
Maybe I can watch the tape I have up, like, you know, Barrels of Joy. Okay. Uh, it's, ooh. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. Remote control with the missing battery. I have a battery. Put it in. Awesome. Okay. Click. Old mattress looks dirty. Probably because Rick uses it so much. He's a ladies' man, dude. Listen to the guy upstairs. I don't even know his name. Probably knows a lot about Rick. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Over here. Wait. That's a remote-controlled car. I have a remote. Clear. <laughs> Good, okay. I did it in my pocket, so you stole it. And he doesn't even notice, man. He's, he's too busy playing with this car. Okay. Take it out. Click. 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 Oh. Right, now click it. Anybody out there? There's some voices. I need to go. Now. Help them. You know, do stuff like that. Alright. Let me out, Master Man. You need to stay inside till I receive further instructions. I just spoke to Rick. There aren't any medical supplies here. We need to get to the pharmacy. Ma'am, if you open that door, you'll put us all in danger. Oh, what the heck. I'll go. Beats waiting around for something to happen. Oh, you just tried, Rick. I've been waiting for an excuse to take you down. What the hell is your problem, back. dude? I have the key. I'll secure it after I leave, so nothing gets in here. I am not going to risk people's lives out here. There, Seth. I am Dude, in charge. Don't way go with you. I am in charge for the responsibility and welfare of Try and stop me. Whoa, what's up with your glasses, bro? Seth? What are you doing? Nothing, Amy. E everything is just fine. Whoa. Seth. I don't trust him. Neither do I. You may be sure to pull the trigger next time. That's a good point. Perhaps I can find a recorded history of recent events I must investigate.